There's one thing about us in Cork, we have a beautiful accent, and it's all our own by. They say in Dublin, you know, that we go up and down, but sure we don't talk like that at all. Anyway, there's more than one accent down here, but they're all caught by. I suppose you could say that the Cork accent was started by St. Finbar. God bless and preserve the man. When he built a little church on the hill up there, when he came down from the west of Ireland in the 6th century. A couple of hundred years after that, the Danes came up the river in their boats and they added a Scandinavian touch. They built this little bit of a city over here, just in time for the Welsh Normans to come along and kick them out of it. The area still retains its old Irish names, yes? After that, the English would come over in the close season and knock themselves and us around a bit and add their part to the vocal cocktail. Then in the 18th century, French people called Huguenots or something like that came and settled in the marsh or Colca area here. The harsh, shrill part of our accent comes from them. Can he come in like the edge here? Your guess is as good as mine, but it seems to be an invitation to young Johnny to come home and get his ears boxed. Oh, God be with the days of the shawls. On the other hand, there are the fruity tones of Montanotti. This accent probably originated in an effort to sound grand, in imitation of the social tones of the invaders. But by now, it has acquired a cadence which is all its own. In its extreme form, it's probably like somebody trying to eat a hot potato while giving a confidential message at the same time. <laughs> Will you be coming to the party at the 39 and a half club on Saturday night? <laughs> Gerald will be there. <laughs> He's great, guys. <laughs> on the other hand, this form is not without its sense of humor as when somebody enters a cocktail party and finds himself surrounded by a sea of strange faces and says, <laughs> are the natives frenzy? <laughs> and there's the one in between. For no known reason, I think of it as the Rocha Stores accent. We're going to cross her for the summer. We have a bungalow took. Of course, we go to Spain later on. Or maybe Majorca. But the most genuinely Cork accent is probably that of Blackpool, the living quarters of the Celts who clustered around the north side of the old city. This is somewhat nasal, spoken out of the corner of the mouth and with a sense of irony. Irony, uh, that means saying one thing now but meaning another. Like, uh, come here, me boy. How's your old one? Game ball? Now that could mean. I hope your mother is well. It could also mean I hear she's on the drink again. If you want to hear the real thing, go to a Blackpool pub, but pick an old one with sawdust on the floor. You might even find yourself sharing a pint without Taoiseach. If you do, you'll be as welcome as the flowers nearby. <laughs> Except they don't come out for a few months yet. But Cork accents, there's no such a thing by. We speak very ordinary down here. <laughs>